I love spring rolls, and this Asian cabbage spring roll recipe has a twist on your traditional spring rolls. These cabbage spring rolls are served cold and can be served as an appetizer for brunch or lunch. What is really nice is that you can prep everything ahead and assemble when you are ready. I am using the ingredients I have on hand, but you can add the vegetables and seasonings that you like. I am using Napa cabbage for the rolls, but you can use regular cabbage as well. Just remember to take out the bottom part of the vein as it tends to be a little tough. The Napa cabbage leaves come off nicely from the head. I'm blanching the leaves for about one to two minutes and then putting them in a cold water bath to stop the cooking and keep them a bright color. I have a couple more things to prepare before we make the cabbage spring rolls. I have the chicken filling and the sauces to make. I also have some rice vermicelli noodles that I cooked according to the package instructions, rinsed, drained, and refrigerated. For the chicken, in a pan on medium-high heat, I'm adding in some sesame oil and lots of minced garlic and ginger, cooking and stirring for about 20 seconds, and then adding in my ground chicken. This is some boneless chicken breast that I roughly ground in my food processor, cooking and stirring for about 4 to 5 minutes, or until no longer pink. Adding in some diced onions and about three chopped red chili peppers for some heat. And this is optional. Stirring and cooking for a couple minutes. This is hoisin sauce and I'm adding in a good two to three tablespoons. You can add to your taste. Hoisin sauce is like an Asian barbecue sauce. Cooking and stirring for a couple minutes and then removing from the heat, letting it completely cool and then refrigerate. I'm making two dipping sauces for the cabbage spring rolls. The first one is a typical Asian peanut sauce. I have some creamy peanut butter and I'm adding in some soy sauce, honey, and a little sesame oil. Giving that a good stir until nice and creamy. You can smooth this out to the consistency that you like by adding more soy sauce. For the second sauce, I'm making a spicy garlic Asian sauce. I'm starting with a little water and adding in some light soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and you can substitute with some rice wine vinegar, minced garlic and ginger, honey for some sweetness, a little sesame oil, some chopped green onions and red chilies, giving that a good stir to combine. I have everything prepped, cold and ready, and we are ready to make these delicious Asian cabbage spring rolls. First, I'm spooning on some of the chicken mixture. The chicken is full of flavor with the sesame oil, the garlic and ginger, and a little spicy from the red chilies. Next is the vermicelli. This comes in all different sizes, and I'm using about a medium-sized vermicelli. Now I'm adding in some cucumbers and carrots for some crunch, giving that a roll and making it as tight as I can. If using regular cabbage, the leaves are big enough that you can tuck in the sides. And that is my Asian cabbage spring roll. They can be a little messy, but they are good. You could hold them together with a toothpick if you wish. When making these cabbage spring rolls, you can use the meat and vegetables of your choice or keep it totally vegetarian. Shrimp would be really good and add in some spinach and basil leaves. Make it your own. I hope you give these Asian cabbage spring rolls a try and enjoy. In a pan on medium heat, I'm adding in some olive oil, diced onions, bell peppers, salt, and black pepper. Stirring and cooking for about five minutes until they become nice and soft, then remove from the heat and let it cool. And just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. These are panko crumbs that I'm adding a little milk and mixing. You can use any breadcrumbs you may have. Setting that to the side and letting that rest for about 5 minutes so the crumbs can absorb the milk. In a large bowl, I have about a pound and a half of ground beef, and I'm adding in my cooked onion and pepper mixture, the moistened panko crumbs, cooked rice, and I'm using some leftover jasmine rice. This happens to be my go-to rice, but you can use any rice brand that you like. Adding in an egg, fresh chopped parsley, and you can use dried parsley, salt, black pepper, 
and garlic powder, giving that a good mix with my hands. Next, I'm preparing the sauce. I have one can of tomato sauce, and I'm adding in some brown sugar, red wine vinegar, and you can use apple cider vinegar, and some Worcestershire sauce, giving that a good mix and setting to the side. This is a big head of cabbage. You want to choose about a three or four pound or more head of cabbage, and make sure the leaves are fairly smooth and not wrinkled for rolling. If you can only find the small heads, you can double up the cabbage leaves when rolling. I have a pot of water boiling to blanch the cabbage. I'm cutting around the bottom core at a 45 degree angle and removing to expose the loose ends of the cabbage leaves. I'm taking off as many leaves as I can at this point, and then if I have more filling to use, I will blanch the cabbage head in the water so I can easily remove more leaves. This way I'm trying not to blanch an entire head of cabbage. If you need to blanch the entire head, place the cabbage in the boiling water core side down, reduce to a simmer, and cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. When done, be careful in removing. Let it cool, and the leaves should come off freely. You may need to cut out a little more of the core to reveal the ends of the cabbage leaves. I'm cutting out the bottom portion of the center vein or rib, as it can be tough, and this will also help you roll the cabbage easier. Now for the assembly. I'm placing down a couple good tablespoons of the filling. The amount of filling you add will depend on the size of the cabbage leaves. Remember, if your leaves are small, you can double them up. You want to roll these like a burrito. Just start rolling, tuck in the sides, and finish rolling to the end. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm adding a little of the sauce to the bottom of my baking dish and placing in the cabbage rolls seam side down. Then I'm pouring the remainder of the sauce over the top. Some people like a lot of sauce and others do not. You can use a portion of the sauce over the cabbage rolls and heat the remaining sauce and serve it on the side. Covering with foil and baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. I usually serve the cabbage rolls with a side of rice and drizzle some of that wonderful sauce on top. You could add a little sour cream or grated cheese on top. I remember these as a child. These cabbage rolls are a food memory for me. I love the combination of the cabbage and the sauce together, and the moist, beefy interior makes them hearty. These cabbage rolls are easy, delicious, and comforting. I hope you give them a try and enjoy. If you like this cabbage roll recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steamit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love.